president believes very strongly that Newtown has to be a pivot for this country to finally put back in place common sense gun control laws. Those pieces of the puzzle are in the uh, House and Senate, and he's very hopeful that that will be passed. But the mental health component is also a big piece of this. Um, for the first time with affordable health care, people will have insurance policies with mental health benefits. Uh, we have proposals that he'll put forward in the budget about training additional mental health personnel, about um, putting more resources into some of the evidence-based programs that we know work to reduce stress. And it's not just about as horrific a mass shooting as Newtown is. It's not just about mass shootings in schools. This is really about um, the stresses that come with kids watching violence in their neighborhoods every day with people being gunned down on street corners, with people needing uh, not only some resilience violence, but some place to go for help before uh, their stress gets to a crisis point. So we have a real opportunity for a dialogue, for expansion of mental health services, and for some um, common sense gun control restrictions, which are supported by law enforcement, supported by a lot of community members, and we hope that the United States Congress will step up and pass them. Well, lots of Americans have already benefited from the law that was signed by the president in March of 2010. We know that about three million young adults are now covered under their parents' policies. Millions of Americans have preventive care as part of their insurance policies with no copay and no coinsurance. Mammograms, colon cancer screenings, flu vaccines are now basically free and available to people. Uh, we know seniors with Medicare benefits have stronger benefits, better choices, lower rates, and that's about 50 million older Americans. And what we're looking forward to in 2014 is about 34 million people who have never had affordable health coverage or are in and out of the market for the first time ever having affordable, available health care and insurance companies having to play by a new set of rules. So people will be able to shop, compare prices, and get some assistance from the government in buying affordable health care. The proposal is really uh, for HHS to um, implement some is in new initiatives around early Head Start home visitation programs for babies and mothers to teach parents how to be good parents in the first place, um, child care settings which would have higher quality programs and more curriculum based programs and then by the time a child turns four to be in an early education program run by the school system that gets a child really ready to learn by kindergarten and expanding into all-day kindergartens. Uh, the hope is that when a child hits regular school, kindergarten, they're ready to learn.